on the city. We also did a preview of Warren on um, our channel last night. If you didn't see that, here's what he had to say. Right, hi guys, it's me, WBA Vlogs, doing my preview for the West Brom Swansea game on the channel. Thank you guys for having me on there to discuss what I think the game's going to be. Um, obviously, uh, West Brom uh, today after a one-all draw at Ipswich have just come off the news that our manager Darren Moore has been sacked. Now that throws things up into the air in terms of who the next manager is going to be. But I don't th I'm not too sure whether he would be appointed before the Swansea game. It's hard to tell. Uh, because we'd have Brentford on the on the Saturday, so I don't know whether the manager would be appointed before the Swansea game, whether he'd be watching if he is appointed. So it's a difficult one, but yeah, tough news for Albion fans uh, hearing that Darren Moore is gone. Um, but on to the Swansea game. It's a very it's going to be a tough game again for us. Obviously, we couldn't beat Ipswich today, bottom of the table, so undoubtedly it's going to be a, a much 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 tougher game against a tougher. Opposition in Swansea, who are currently saying 15th on 47 points, eight points outside the playoffs. So it's a massive game for you guys to win to try and close the gap to try and get into that sixth spot that has been fought by so many teams uh, in the division to try and get that sixth spot currently occupied by Derby. But I think a win is crucial for you guys in terms of, of trying to get there because obviously we've only got 10 games to go in the season now. Every game's a must win for you guys to get into the playoffs. Um, with us, we're, we're just trying to win to try and cement the playoff places now because it looks like automatic promotion is, is definitely out of reach now for us. Um, obviously, we're 12 points behind Norwich. It's become a 10-point gap to lead, so it looks like with 10 games to go, it's going to be playoffs for us this season. Um, so, yeah, we're just trying to win to try and cement that fourth place. It doesn't look like we're going to get third because Sheffield United are quite a bit away from us now. So it looks like fourth is the maximum position we can go to. And all we've got to do is just try and keep getting points on the board. And hopefully we can we can get a win against you guys at the Hawthorns on Wednesday night. Because we haven't uh, won there since Boxing Day uh, against Wigan last year. So um, the only thing for you guys to uh, hold on to for some hope is our, our home form is quite poor. Um, obviously, as I've just said, we haven't won since Boxing Day, and it seems like we just can't grab a win from somewhere at home. A way we can do, but at home we struggle bad. But um, yeah, you guys are going to be tough opposition. You've obviously got some good players in McBurney. Um, I think James, you know, Selena. If sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong, but uh, you've got some good, good players, and I think it's going to be a tough game for us to handle. You guys, um, obviously. We missed uh, a few players today. I think we missed three out of our back four due to injury. Um, so hopefully we can have them players fit to play you guys. Um, my prediction, I'm going to go for a 1-1 draw. Uh, I'm going to go Dwight Gale to get the goal for us. And I'm going to go Ollie McBurney to get the goal for you guys since he got the goal in the reverse fixture this season. Uh, but anyway, guys, good luck for the game. Hopefully it'll be a good game. Hopefully see you there. And uh, thanks for having me on the channel. Uh, go um, subscribe to Warren. He, he does some really good West Bromwich Albion vlogs. Even now, we'll just get back to when we're on our way. Just arrived at the services, um, so we'll get back to you when we're at the game. Oh, okay. we're just setting off now for the remainder. Fish and chip shop. So we've um, just arrived now, so just about to go into the stadium now. Stadium now, score predictions 2 1 Swansea. Yeah. Mc, no, not McBurn, he's not playing. Courtney Baker Richardson, Daniel James, and Dwight Gale. Uh, I think it'll be your opposite 2 1 West Brom. Uh, to Mike Gale and James Rodriguez, and yeah. then for Swansea, Daniel James. The lineup here is uh, Nordfelt, Roberts, Van der Waal, Carter, Vickers, Norton, Selena, Matt Grimes, George Byers, Midfield, Dyer, Routledge, and Dan James at front. Uh, on the bench, Mackay, John, Mulder, Fulton, Dander, Baker Richardson, and Kian Harris. Tim Johnston, Mason Holgate, Craig Dawson, Ahmed Hegazi, uh, Townsend, Harper, Brunt, Liverpool, Liverpool uh, Gale, Rodriguez, and Murphy. And the bench is. Paul Robson Carney, Kyle Bartley, Johansson, Morrison, Mears, Lecco and Bond. This bomb stands because it's not enough seats to obviously go into the other stands, so we won't be cheering as much as we think we would be, so yeah. I said, are you gonna be my
swan just get huh? they'll be all swans this afternoon because normally swans do better than second As we prove in the past. finished the 3 0 loss, obviously gutted with the result. So guys, we've just randomly come into um, services to get some food and we've just seen Graham Potts walk in so we've just got some photos to show. Yeah. Cheers, have a look. 